What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, Bitcoin and Ethereum right now and also Shiba are at very, very crucial points. Yes, this is an extremely, extremely decisive point right now on the Bitcoin chart, which we have to be looking out for for Bitcoin. Also, Ethereum right now is at a very important point. If we cannot hold this $3,700 level right here, we could see a dump all the way down to this price target right here, which is around about $27, $2,600. If you're holding Bitcoin, if you're holding Ethereum, and even if you're still holding Shiba, definitely stay tuned for today's video because it is going to be a great one. As always, guys, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. If you haven't already liked today's video, then definitely do so. Also, if you're new to the channel, first of all, a huge, massive, warm welcome. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified about my upcoming videos. What is going on with the charts right now, guys? I'm on the four hour chart for Bitcoin right now. And as we know, we had this large dump, but we continue dumping even more. And we're now down around 12% in just two days, which definitely isn't good news for Bitcoin. We can see right here that potentially we may have peaked out here on the short term at around $52,000. Another thing which is a little bit concerning is could this potentially be a double top scenario right here with these being the heads and this large area of volume down here. This trading volume could potentially be the neck and we could see a large, large correction to the downside. That could potentially be something which is on the cards, guys. Overall, though, I really do hope we can see a bounce from this level for Bitcoin um, from this uh Worst case scenario, around $45,600, $45,500. Hopefully, we should see a bounce like we have done the last few times. And this is where it's actually a great a great place to be trading Bitcoin because we could potentially see a bounce back up to this level right here, which is around $52,500. And if you did want to trade that over on Bybit, guys, there will be a great opportunity for a long position with a potential profit of around 14%. Now, if you're using Bybit's free bonus, which is linked down below for $4,100 bonus, a 10% profit with that on a 20x, you are looking at around about a $12,000 profitable trade, which you can go ahead and withdraw. Right now, go ahead and click on Bybit with the link in the description. Join using my link right there and you'll get access up to $4,100. Also, we have Femex here, $5,100 bonus over on Femex. And we have Prime XPT with a trading competition and also discounts, huge discounts on their fees as well. So you definitely want to go ahead and check out Prime XPT as well. So Bitcoin, guys, what's going on? Like, what do I think is going to happen? Well, first of all, don't be scared. Don't be worried at all. I think it's it's definitely not the end of the world. We are looking a little bit bearish right now. The worst case scenario, guys, we could in fact have, a, if, if we break this level of support right here, the worst case scenario is we would dump down to around about this level, around this $4,100 level. Now, why do I say that? Mainly because this is a large level of uh, support right there support and resistance right there, a very large level of resistance right there. And I think this is the most likely uh, next logical point for Bitcoin if we were to see a dump below this point. Do I think we are going to see a dump below this point? Well, I really hope we, don't, we, we won't. The past few times, the last few times we've reached this price level, we have in fact bounced and seen a bounce to the upside to around 55, uh, sorry, 52K, somewhere in that region. Um, let's have a quick look at the uh, moving averages. We've got the 21, first of all, we are below that probably by about 8% now. Um, that is always a, a good indication to see if we are in fact... Um, positive, bullish or bearish in the short term. Um, we have the 50 daily moving average, which is here. And as I said before, guys, I was saying this weeks ago, this 50 daily moving average right here is suppressing us down. Each day we are below it. The price is getting suppressed down uh, and probably we may even form some form of a um, symmetrical triangle, or sorry, a descending triangle right here, maybe with a nice breakout towards the upside. That is something that could be on the charts as well. And let's take a look at the 200 daily moving average. We are below this, which definitely is not good news, guys. Um, yeah, and anytime we're below the 200 daily, usually it's a bearish scenario, as we can see right here, right here, we had more bearish news. And right here, we literally we're toying with it. We can see right here, we are above it, we are below it, we're above it, we're below it. Now we're finally below it again. And um, yeah, we definitely need to get back above this 47 
or let's just say about $48,000 in the near term if we are going to remain um, bullish in the very, very near term. So that's Bitcoin, guys. I think it's fairly interesting. Um, we'll take a look at Ethereum now in a second as well. And guys, if you're not already following me over on Instagram, go ahead and check out, uh, check me out over there. Make sure you're following the verified profile so there is no scammers. It's really easy now on Verify, guys. Go ahead and uh, shoot me a message and view my stories as well because you'll be able to see the new car which I bought. And uh, there's a small hint for you. It is in red color. So let me know down below in the comments what you think it is. Go over to my Instagram, drop me a follow, and go ahead and check out my stories. And you can let me know what you think of my new car. It would be great to talk to you guys over there as well. Now, let's take a look at some Ethereum price analysis. And then we are going to take a little bit of a look at Shiba and some altcoins as well. So what's going on with Ethereum? First of all, we had this uh, top out here at around 4800 it's remained to be seen if this was in fact the high for this cycle. I really don't think it is. I think we could get a $7,500 Ethereum at least still in this cycle. However, now we are at an extremely crucial point, as I said in today's intro. This point of around 3700 3600 kind of dollar level, this point needs to be held. If we cannot hold this point, guys, there is no other way but around about a twenty-seven to twenty-six hundred dollar Ethereum in the next few days. So really, really, I think it's a very pivotal point for Ethereum right now. If we see a bounce again, we could see a retest of this level right here, forty-four hundred dollars. And again, guys, when we are seeing these price levels, it's a great opportunity to have long trades on Bybit, for example, or on Femex or Prime XBT. We can have a, a short stop loss of around three percent maybe even less, around 3.5%. And we can see it's a, a nice risk reward ratio trade of around 6.5. It's a great risk reward ratio trade, guys, mm -hmm. for a long position. And again, if we take a look at the short position, this is probably um, even better. If we take a look at the short position trade, and uh, we take around, let's put around a 4%, 3% profit because we can afford to. Again, 6.8% uh, on a short trade. And that's over on Bybit, guys, with that $4,100 free bonus, which is going on right now using my link. So overall, I think Ethereum, I mean, we just need to see a bounce from this level. Um, we really just need to see a bounce. If we break this level and come down to this, this price level down here, it's going to be, uh, there are going to be a lot of warning signs for Ethereum. People are going to start to get a little bit fearful in the market. And um, yeah, overall, it's not going to be a great thing. Let's take a look at Shiba now, guys, and then we're going to move on to some uh, just general um, general information about different altcoins and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for the end of the video. Shiba was actually looking fairly good. We see we saw a nice bounce from this level down here. We saw a nice pump up to this level, potentially um, uh, double top right there, and we are seeing a correction down back down to this. Um, support level at around about 3300 however i really do think again like i've been saying we need to see shiba come up above this golden pocket right here if we are going to see any real action any real price action if you do want to make crazy gains from shiba or we are going to see any like real um, momentum and, and bullish news from shiba we just have to get into this golden pocket and break it i think that is literally the only thing stopping shiba right now of course many other things as well However, a lot of meme co moon coins, well, they did moon, but a lot of meme coins have actually cooled off right now, and we're not really seeing too many gains with them. Um, there's m much more gains to be had with gaming cryptos, um, potentially some DeFi and new projects launching as well. So yeah, Shiba was nice. It's a it's a lot a lot of profit could have been made. However, now we have um, been dumping for quite a long time, literally since around um october the end of october so two months now we've been dumping uh doing nothing but dump really we had a little pump here and, and continue to dump so really we just got to see this golden pocket break if we are going to be bullish on shiba in the next few days and weeks let's take a look at um coin market cap now some of the biggest gainers are some that you haven't really heard of some meme coins of course when they first launch um meta pets as well is <laughs> trending quite a lot that's pretty cool Let's take a look at some of the prices. Solana, $172. We got Polkadot, $27. Terra, $85. Polygon Matic is at $2.50. In fact, let's see, let's take a quick look at this chart because I wanted to get into this. Um, I just haven't had the right position right there. So yeah, highs of two. So we're pretty much very near all-time highs right now. Recently, we broke them. So um, maybe I'll wait for a little cool-off period or a pullback on Polygon and I might enter. A crow down at 55 cent recently that was around a dollar we've got uniswap around 17 dollars chain link on below 20 
Axie Infinity around 100, FTX at 39. Wow, that seems like a fairly good price for FTX. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we had highs of around 80 and we're currently sitting at around $39. Again, exchange tokens, they are really valuable, guys. Whether it be Binance, BNB, FTX, Huobi, whatever it may be, they are really valuable tokens to hold. Uh, Sandbox down at $5. Let's check out some Metaverse cryptos and see what the prices are doing. The Central Land, I feel like it's been $3 for quite a while now. Axie Infinity has been pegged to $100 almost. Engine, Sushi Swap, uh, what else have we got down here? Ultra, $1.50. We've got some interesting ones. Um, Alluvium is back at about $1,000. Under $1,000, it's not a bad pick. Um, but definitely, there's some opportunities out there in the market right now, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Again, if you enjoyed it, let me know by dropping a thumbs up on today's video. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Make sure you're following the verified profile uh, at CryptoJack. And go ahead and check out my car, um, which is on my stories right there if you want to go and see it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.